In this video, I'm gonna be going over the best post route that nobody is using in Madden 22. And that is coming to us from the PA shot wheel in the New England Patriots playbook, the new, uh, or the, the S post out of the PA shot wheel. We're gonna be going over how to throw this against pretty much every defense in the game and showing you why I think this is one of the most underrated route combos in Madden 22. Now, if you're new to the channel um, and you want to check out my New England Patriots full offensive ebook or my Trips Tight End ebook, I would really encourage you in, in my Patreon membership to sign up for that. It's only uh, $10 to be able to sign up for that. And that'll be linked down in the description below. And the cool part about that is as soon as you sign up, you get access to absolutely everything. All of our eBooks, all of our weekly pro tips and meta updates that we release. We just released a brand new video today talking about a uh, brand new defensive guide out of the dime rush. So if you want to check that out, again, that is linked in the description. We've got over 23 offensive and defensive eBooks and we've got more coming as well. So I really encourage you to check that out. Patreon members get access to everything, all the eBooks, any updates to the eBooks and all of our weekly pro updates and pro tips. So let's jump into the video and talk about PA uh, PA shot wheel in this S post. Now I'm not sure why people aren't using this route, uh, but what I like to do with this is we're gonna simply smart route the route. Now, um, one other quick tip with this, a couple things, is you might want to put a streak on the field in combination with this route. And I'm gonna show you why um, here in just a second. So um, just for purposes of the illustration here, we're just gonna block the tight end and just run the route as is. And this is against a cover four defense. What you're gonna notice is once he gets to a point, you can see right there, and that's kind of the main reasoning as to why you would want a streak from the tight end. Because with a streak from the tight end, that right there won't happen. But what you'll see with this route is you can actually throw this early and get this nice little aggressive catch that is ridiculously hard to intercept. It's really, really good. And I'll show it to you again. You don't even have to smart route the route, but once he kind of takes that third cut, that's when you can get this nice aggressive catch animation. Now, another thing that I really like about this play is if I jump to over to the cover three, um, what we're gonna do is we're going to flat um, Lazard and then we're gonna take Vada Scanling and put him on just something to the inside. It doesn't matter, it could be a slant, it could be a crosser, it could be a, um, a drag, it doesn't matter to me. And then with the tight end, I typically like to put him on a, you know, some type of post or smart route of dig or even a vertical streak, okay? But for this video, again, I'm just gonna put him on a smart routed in. And what you'll notice with this cover three is there's a nice little pocket that you can throw this in that you can't really throw against really anything else. And I'm gonna show this to you against the double Mabel defense. So we all know this year that the double Mabel defense is really popular, um, just like it was last year, just double flatting and then relying on the user in the middle of the field. What you're gonna see is with this flat and slant concept on the right side, and like I said, then you can do anything you want. You can drag and maybe do like a corner route to the tight end or something like this. You can streak the tight end and you know maybe take Vadis Scanling and put him on a crosser. You could motion him as well. Um, there's no reason that you can't just motion him across the formation. You know, maybe do something like this where you have Vada scaling on a, on a vertical pull route and then maybe you take your tight end and put him on a dig or a drag. You can do really anything that you can think of. But what you're gonna see is when you have this flat over here, it's gonna pull the zones outside. And what's so good about this route, especially the gunslinger, pass lead, a leader, set beat lead, is you can throw this with a real sharp cut in between the zones. So let me show you again, this is a deep half. And we break this whole thing down in our trips uh, ebook. Uh, the trips ebook has been probably the one of, is, is eventually, and again, we're going to be updating it um, uh, probably in the next week or so. But this is such a good offense because, again, see how I can throw this just any. It, I don't have to wait for it to become a post. And that's what I love about this route is it's a two window route. You can throw it early or you can throw it late. Now let's say for example, that you're getting you know heavy pressure and let's just say that they're running hard flats on the outside. What you could do with this route that I love is you can throw this just like that. And again, I'm just clicking on the player, making the aggressive catch and securing the catch. So if they're gonna run hard flats at me, even if they don't, let's say they run these purple zones, a lot of times this route is really, really good against the blitz because you can throw it right in this little wonky pocket that basically has to be usered. 
this is one of the many reasons why I really love this route combo. So again, I'm gonna show you these seam flats. Another little quick tip is if you wanna leave this wheel, what one thing is actually really smart is to leave the wheel and then take this guy, and again, you could do whatever you want with him. You could put him on a slant, anything to the inside, it doesn't matter. But what you'll notice here is that this wheel is really helpful as well for beating the blitz because if they're running purples, you're gonna notice that those purples are going to suck inside to the post. However, if they're running hard flats, um, and I'll try to show this as best I can because we do have our zones dropped, but a lot of times if they're running hard flats, this wheel will still be able to get open, but another thing that's gonna be open is again, that money post route just right in that seam. So you can also just simply streak the tight end, literally just come out, put the title streak, snap the ball, one of the easiest money plays in the game because you see how good the post route is. And I throw, when I put that tight end streak out on the field, I wanna also show you something. So when I put this tight end streak on the field, I can literally throw this against anything. So you'll see right here, now that all the zones drift back because of the tight end streak, and then that stuff kind of becomes wide open. Now again, if you're worried about anything, I would go with a concept that looks somewhat like this right here. You could, you know, switch these guys if you wanted to. The one thing with this one is if it's cover four, this post route also runs a long, long time. So he runs for longer over the top than a deep post route is. So let's say for example, um, you're trying to you know bomb a coverage. A great way to do that is to utilize this S post because what you'll see with this S post is again, he's gonna run a lot longer so you can kind of throw it through the zone and again, have that position where you might be able to aggressive catch the route. Um, this is also really good against, it's even better against cover three, cover two. And we've talked a little bit about that on this channel before, but what you'll see here is this post, once he kind of crosses through, look how he sharply keeps running and you see that you just gotta make one man miss and it's a touchdown. Same thing in cover two and I'll show that real quick. So that's why I like this route because it combines the best of both worlds. It combines the, the real power behind post routes this year and it also gives you a nice user catch option um, if the defense gets lack lackadaisical. Here you see there's cover two, absolute nuke against cover two. So the only coverage that they can really do to stop this is to put an inside quarter on the right side of the field. The problem with an inside quarter, and this is where you can get kind of creative, but, and, and again, you could do this however you want. If you want a slant here, and then maybe you want to put Lazard on, on like a, you know, something, that's fine. You know, just do something like simple like this. It doesn't matter, but what you'll see with the cover four is there's no way for him to get there because that tight end is running him off. So you see how I get that nice dive catch right in the pocket of the defense. Now, this is also very, very effective if they are running man to man. So let's say that they're running man to man. And the reason I like this a little bit better than this skinny post is because number one, it's a double move. So it's hard for one steps to work. But also the other thing that's really cool about it is because it runs so sharp, it's gonna sharply run underneath the deep third zones and stuff like that. Now, uh, you'll see here, sometimes with man, you need to give it a little bit of space, but you see it can beat man-to-man -man coverage as well. Obviously, if you have a route run ability, it's a little bit easier. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and sub out Devontae Adams just to show you that you can still use this to beat man. It's not like, you know, bulletproof necessarily, but there's so many other things we can do in this play. But if they're just gonna run like press man on you, this post in combination, obviously with like a slant, you know, like slant, post, flat, something like this, this is a great play. And you'll see that this route, it just gets this nice little inside release right off the rip. And a lot of times you can easily just lob it right over the top. I put short out a lead on my on my guy that runs that route, and it's very difficult for them to to guard it because it's such a unique little kind of kind of cutting route, if you will. And again, like I said, against against press man, he'll run it like almost like an over route. See how he kind of just runs straight in. He doesn't take a secondary cut, and then you can ag it. And typically when you ag it, he'll dive. 
Um, typically, especially if you have like short out elite, like I said, he'll hardly ever drop that ball. I think it's also interesting because it runs a lot different than you would think. It runs a lot different this year than it's ever ran. It's literally more like almost like a like a sharp post route and you see how you get that nice little jump catch so this is becoming literally my favorite route in the game from any formation it's really good from trips you can apply it um, in a lot of different ways and the the real beauty of this i think is found like i said in the fact that it literally beats every zone and if you run this as a tight end runoff route now you can do whatever you want underneath so let's say that you want to put this guy on a drag that's fine so you have a high low now between your crosser and then you also have this back breaker route that you can ag over the top and again i would recommend short out a lead it'll make it a lot easier to catch that deep out of lead of course but that's a really really good play for me and hopefully you enjoyed the video if you enjoyed it and you want to check out the rest of our trips tight end ebook or if you just want to join our patreon membership to get all of our ebooks and all of our pro tips it's down in the description below you can sign up today for the patreon for just ten dollars and it literally will get you access to everything all of our ebooks all of our tips everything that you need to become a better madden player so if you want to sign up for it head on down to the description and click the link down below